Also, guys, I just wanted to uh, do this like next day as well um, before I go into the, the full video. Um, this is him uh, saying that he's going to sue some small streams, including Kevin Sanders. You going to let people talk Rose about your dead homeboy like that? Of course you wouldn't. You'll step, you, you, any kind of man, you'll step in the cut, man, and fight for your homeboys, man, and fight for your side. And that's all I'm doing. That's disrespectful to run and hide when the heat get. When the bullets get to fly, flying, you running and hiding. I don't respect that. You see what I'm saying? No man respect. Nobody would respect any of you guys who consider yourself friends of Kevin Samuels. And you sitting around and you not saying anything because you don't want to draw fire. Man, people. And I'm sorry, this is absolutely going to be a long video. But the, the, the funny thing about what he's saying is that, you know, you're trying to weaponize. You keep calling them friends. They are not his friends. They are his fans. You are trying to weaponize his fans against people who have any um, maybe negative comments or criticisms of Kevin Samuels. You are not his friend, bro. And you're trying to weaponize these people uh, without saying uh, go out and, and get these people. But in the video later on today, uh, it's also going to show uh, so, some of the other um, stuff and instances where he is trying to weaponize Kevin Samuels. Uh, rage porn, um, misogynistic, anti-feminist uh, um, fandom to go after people and things like that. People lose respect for you, man, the other side. So that's why I'm doing what I do. But, uh, you know, I'm y'all keep coming, whatever. I'm going to sue some people. That's oh, I'm a little hood uh, and, and petty. So I will respond to the comments. I've been told by Kevin Samuels and some of the other youtubers that i should not respond to the comments but i'm just you know what's crazy is that you know the same thing with like mtr and all these other people it's crazy how like ken samuels told you not to do it and things like that and, and you still refuse um to listen to reason so again this is not about kevin samuels anymore bro this is about you um you you love doing this you want to do this you think this is going to continue um, to get you closer to maybe a million subs and things like that. But, um, and you, you also talk about Sue and struggle streamers, but I, I got some for you. I can't help it. I'm a little petty. Okay. I enjoy it. You know, I do. I really enjoy being a little petty with the comment section. I might say your mama, I'm sorry. I'm still a lawyer, but I'm, a but you're not acting like one. You're, you're not acting like one. You're not, you're not professional at all. And, and that's the thing too, bro, with these guys, like they talk and they try to talk like articulate and, and slow and, you know, methodical and things like that. But the truth of the matter is, nigga, you still a child. Um, all that talk and all that stuff, man. I, I mean, in the later video, I'm going to show everything else, but, um, come on, big dog. A black lawyer. Okay. I'm sorry about that. That's nothing to do with being But I know who I'm dealing with. So lead attorney ain't that's ain't this damn petty. So I'll try to stop. I'll try. I'll try to stop being petty. I'll try to stop responding to the haters. But I am gonna sue some people. Okay. And that's on hood. That's what they say. On hood, I'm gonna sue some people. That's what you young boys say. It's a promise for the for the for the white folks who are visiting here. That means I promise, and I'm absolutely certain that I'm going to do this, and it's def in, in definitive in a definitive manner. It's going to happen. But for you black, y'all know what I mean. So I'm gonna sue some people. I can't wait to sue. So, uh, what's what's the name of that? The Kevin Samuels roast. I'm gonna sue you. I already got your PayPal information. You 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 mine. <laughs> Nigga, to pay his PayPal information is on his page. You you didn't look far, bit dog. I mean, I don't understand. But here's the part that I actually want to play for um, for you guys and things like that. And this is going to be at the beginning um, before I go into my long ass monologue or whatever y'all call the shit. This nigga love these niggas love talking about struggle streaming, struggle streamers and things like that. Um, this is Dennis Berlin's YouTube page. Right. OK. Um, I think before this, he was at 20,000 subs. Or something like this. He's in between 41.7 subs right now. Look at all the videos he has on Kevin Samuels, right? Doing decent numbers, right? That that looks great. This all happened over the course of the week. So a lot of people keep getting mad because other people are making money off of Kevin Samuels. But this nigga literally is, is farming 
Kevin Samuels. Any judge is going to look at you dumb as fuck. Oh, I was defending him. You weren't defending him. You're trying to make money off that nigga. Call it a day, bro. It, it is what it is. I at least admire people who are honest and just saying, look, I'm just going to make comments off of it. So everybody sees this, right? You know, this is his uh, This is his shit. This is what he's doing right now. Look at the videos before that. This nigga was barely getting 10,000, if, if getting 10,000, right? He was barely, he was struggle streaming. This was just a week ago. This is just a week ago. He, he wasn't, he what he has not been, I don't know why he keeps calling himself like this guru of like YouTube and he's not a struggle streamer. Nigga, you a struggle streamer too. As soon as you start talking about Kevin Samuels, these niggas are going to leave you. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. At least this man has his channel well over the time where, where Kevin Samuels was alive. He didn't just start yesterday. Um, you started this weekend and all of a sudden... You're like the, you you swear up and down, you're the best YouTuber on God's green earth. Man, shut the fuck up. Now, let's get back to the uh, regular shit. Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Uh, Jeremiah Black Development Network. Um, we, we talking about Dennis Sterling today, big dog, because he actually called out a name. Um, the, the Kevin Samuels Rose Network, shout out to him. Hey, man, you know what's funny? I know a lot of y'all probably not going to respect me for saying this, but I appreciate people who keep the same energy, though. See, the thing about me is, as much as I say, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels, I ain't spreading the shit about his message. I'm not going to make all these stupid ass montages knowing that um, I was trying to like all these other dudes or try to create this facade like these people are friends. Nigga, these are YouTubers. Um, and uh, uh, today we're going to talk about Dennis Stern. We're going to talk a little bit about O'Shea, too. Because I'm getting at him, too, because, you know, I don't care if y'all talked on the phone every day. At the end of the day, you were you were YouTubers. Y'all niggas never met. You admit it plenty of times that y'all niggas have never met each other. Um, so you didn't even get the courtesy of meeting this nigga. Um, and so uh, we're going we gonna to start with Dennis Sterling. At least I'm not coming from a right. I really place. like Boyce Watkins. I don't really have anything bad to say about Boyce Watkins. I like Boyce Watkins. He's an intelligent, educated man. He's a married man. Mm. You have the nerve to, to pontificate as to whether or not Kevin Samuels died broke. And then you have the nerve. So you're mad because he, you're wondering whether he, and actually what he really said was, um, um, not just that was he was broke, he would just say he, he was sad that he, died alone that the person wasn't next to him which is a decent conversation to have for especially for black men that listen to his message in which he was 50 whatever the fuck age he was bro he was 50 something years old with no wife died in the arms of a lady that he did not know he died in the arms of a lady he didn't know nerve to conclude it when there's nothing else there saying i wish he had died with a woman that he'd known better how do you know how well he knew her okay Apparently, only me and his best friend were the only ones he told about her. Great. So here's here's where he lies. Here's where he actually starts lying. Um, I'm actually going to show you all something. I done showed this a thousand and three times. Um, I guess Dennis isn't getting the same reports that, uh, that um, I guess, regular Americans are getting. Let's get into the bullying real quick, man. Um Let's let's get into the bullying. Let's let's get into it. I don't understand how you are, how you a successful lawyer, how you getting all this business and you spending all your time on YouTube. Spend every day making a whole bunch of videos. And you know what's even crazier is that he calls he he him and O'Shea are calling people like struggle streamers. He he's the last person. But these are fans, right? These are K Sam fans. These are people who support K Sam's in his death and in his um in his death and in his his rise they're asking him to to stop all this and here's the thing about he keeps saying he has to defend his friend bit dog this is the fucking internet this ain't where you need to be defending him you you don't have to update us and then he's telling people to unsubscribe if they talk about kevin samuels they show 
hate towards Kevin Samuels, big dog. Again, um, he's like, yo, if he's also threatening to sue people, yo, if you see any YouTubers using my likeness or anything like that, is you stupid? You're the dumbest lawyer on God's green earth. And this is all evidence against you in court that you're just on the Internet bullying people. Um, and I'm also show your page. You use Kevin Samuels likeness all over your fucking page, bro. You use the likeness all over your page. But, yep, stop the, oh, that's something. That's from something else. But um, it's crazy. But let's get into this um, O'Shea thing real quick, too. So I'm going to hit both of y'all real quick because then I'm going to show the Of where he right. used to live. Oh, hell no. Now, according to Media Takeout, there was uh, somebody by the name of Dirt. This publication, Dirt, which is <laughs> it's a good name. And basically, this is the luxury apartment in which Kevin Samuels uh, passed away. So I think what these are, I believe that the this is an example of what the apartment may look like. I'm not sure if this is his apartment per se, but these are photos via Zillow. So he lived in an apartment very similar to this. Um, it cost about um, $1,920 uh, per month. And it is uh, very nice and luxurious and things of that nature. It has a 24 seven concierge service, but I don't want to talk about this, right? Because in this particular apartment complex, we want to know why was Kevin Samuels not having his information out there? Why was the apartment not in his name? Well, do you want to know why it wasn't in his goddamn name? Because of idiots like this this is why all right so let's stop it right there real quick first of all o'shea let's keep it a buck you don't know this man you don't know a damn thing about this man and o'shea is from the united states so i don't know how apartments work in other countries but let's talk about apartments in the united states apartments in the united states are not um public information they're not considered as like real estate, like housing, um, houses, um, actual real estate property. So if you own the actual apartments, um, like duplexes and things like that versus like actual buildings and things like that. So your information on apartments is not public. The reason why Kevin Samuels did not put his name on that apartment is because Kevin Samuels could not afford to live there at that time. He probably can afford to live there now. But if his name was not on the apartment, he used someone else's credit in order to afford the apartment. OK, it's not hard to figure out. It's not hard to really put down. It's just that, hey, he went and he found somebody who was willing to uh, use their credit and put a put a tr put his trust in him and do things like that. That's the only way he was able to afford that. OK. He wasn't making that much off YouTube at that time. This is all noted. His information is all on the internet. Stop the fucking cap. Stop trying to protect this man in this type of way. Hey, big dog, if you loved him, if that was your daddy, your granddaddy, whatever that man felt like to you, then, you know, feel that way, bro. But a lot of y'all are going so far and you're making. And here's the funny thing. What's going to end up happening more times than not is y'all are going to slip you or that attorney are going to slip and kevin samuel's real information is going to end up out there and the problem with that and, and what's going to end up happening is is something's going to happen in which you guys cannot defend it's going to happen um i have another video uh i don't know why i didn't go through but I have another video, which, again, because all this Kevin Samuel stuff coming up, um, this is from the Kevin Samuel. I got this from Kevin Samuel's Roast Network. Um, again, bro, like, it's going to get to a point. Y'all y'all keep playing with these people, and you keep, um, y'all keep trying to go in on him. He's going to continue to expose this man. Um and the, 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 the issue that's going to continue to happen, bro, is, um, is it this one? Let me see if it's this one. 
Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's this one. So y'all going to try to expose that man and stuff like this is going to keep coming out on him. So Kevin was out here renting rooms. I've done nothing. Can I speak to you? When the power bill spiked, you sent me communication after communication after communication, trying to make me responsible for it. Not you responsible, the whole entire house responsible, Kevin. But Since the stay at home here, notification of COVID, here, everyone's working from home. The hey, just so y'all know, did y'all hear what she said? Let me back it up a little bit. To make me responsible for it. Not you responsible, the whole entire house responsible, Kevin. But Since the stay at home here. notification of COVID, here. everyone's working from home. The power, not, the water, not, the gas is exponentially. No, it's, it's not harassment. harassment. You know what, Kevin? Just recording Kevin Samuels moving the cardboard again from out from under his car. This video will be submitted to the HOA for repercussions of the removal of his automobile from the premises. I got all the spots with all the oil all over them, bud. I don't care. I don't care. The oil is right all over the place. Now, I'm a, I'm a, is, this is two part. Number one, this happened during COVID. He was living with this uh, with this young lady in a in a room in a house during COVID. Ladies and gentlemen, COVID was two 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 years ago, two three years ago. So his success is just now being um, this YouTuber. And this information is going to keep coming out like this. That's going to debunk all that bullshit he was telling y'all during COVID, during now, all that stuff. Uh, all that shit's going to start falling down. And OSHA and them, they're not going to be able to keep up with this because they didn't know that man. They didn't know a damn thing about him. He didn't tell anybody about his content. He didn't do any of that. He kept himself private. Um, and that that's going to be the issue. Uh, also the other part was he had a BMW and, um, with that BMW, I guess it was leaking oil. He said he had maintenance parts on it or whatever the case may be. She put, um, she put, uh, the, 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 um, cardboard underneath them so that he won't leak it on the, the ground and things like that. Um, but Hey, Hey man, y'all keep y'all keep doing this. Y'all keep doing this. You, Dennis Berlin, y'all MTR, y'all keep trying to spurter this information around to try to gather his followers and all that stuff. And and all this stuff's gonna just keep coming out. And these people are eventually they're gonna stop following this man. But hey man, that's on y'all. Peace.